Born September 12, 1953, in Washington, D.C., Nan Golden grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. After graduation from the School of Museum of Fine Arts, Boston Tufts University, in 1978, she moved to New York and began documenting the post-punk new wave music scene, along with the city's vibrant post-Stonewall gay subculture of the late 1970s and early 1980s. She was drawn especially to the Bowery's hard drug subculture. Golden joined a group of alienated young people involved with drugs, sex, and violence, which she documented in photographs taken during the late 1970s. This work became her slideshow and book, The Ballad of Sexual Dependency. These snapshot aesthetic images depict drug use, violent aggressive couples, and autobiographical moments. Most of her ballad subjects were dead by the 1990s, lost either to drug overdose or AIDS. This tally included close friends. The main themes of her early pictures are love, gender domesticity, sexuality. These frames are usually shot with available light. She has affectionately documented women looking in mirrors, girls in bathrooms and barrooms, drag queens, sexual acts, and the culture of obsession and dependency. The images are viewed like a private journal made public. The 45-minute multimedia presentation, constantly re-edited and updated, began its public life on the club circuit in New York City in 1979 and has since been in museums, galleries, film festivals, and alternative spaces both in the U.S. and abroad, including the Whitney Bynal, the Berlin Film Festival, the Stedelijk Museum in Amsterdam, the Hirshhorn Museum in Washington, D.C., and many more. It has over 900 photographs accompanied by a musical soundtrack. Golden is also the 2007 winner of the Hasselblad Foundation International Award in Photography, which is granted to a photographer recognized for major achievements. Golden's work was a groundbreaking contribution to fine art in the late 70s. Her intensely honest and personal approach to photography is shocking yet truthful. The haunting accounts of the experiences of her generation will live on in art history forever because of her transgressive photography.